Welcome to the Berkeley Beat. Today we'll be covering Chancellor Bershenow's resignation and a weekend of art performance. We'll also be announcing Student Action's executive slate for the upcoming ASUC elections. I'm Mia Sin. And I'm Thea Lorraine. The Berkeley Bee starts now. In a campus-wide email sent this past Tuesday, Chancellor Bershenow announced that he will be stepping down this coming December. After more than eight years of service, he will be ending his term as UC Berkeley's ninth chancellor. Bergenau stated that he stayed as chancellor for two years longer than intended because of the financial crisis surrounding the UC. He plans to remain as a faculty member on campus in the departments of physics, material science, and engineering. Last Monday, the Unite Greek and Apple Engineering-backed Student Action Party announced their executive slate for the upcoming 2012 ASUC elections. Connor Landgraf is running for president, Justin Sayerith for external vice president, and Sharyar Abbasi for external affairs vice president all of whom currently serve in the ASUC Senate. Natalie Gavello, running for Academic Affairs Vice President, is currently serving as the Executive Communications Director for the Office of the President. The ASUC elections will be held on April 10th. Last week, student-to-student -student peer counseling at Cal held their biannual Suicide Awareness Week. The week included various speaker events and public discussion forums. CalTV's Denisha Williams has more. According to the American Foundation for Suicidal Prevention, close to 90% of suicide attempts are attempted by those suffering from mental illnesses. On Berkeley's campus, the first annual Out of Darkness Campus Walk is an event that's trying to raise awareness of these issues and to prevent people from committing suicide. The walk was part of a week-long event about suicide prevention and relieving the stigma behind mental illness. Suicide is something that's really prevalent. Um, you probably do know someone who is having these thoughts and it's just really important that everyone realizes um, just the prevalence of the issue and that prevention is you know, the number one thing that we should all be working towards. Volunteers hope these events will convince those who may feel suicidal or suffering from any mental illness to speak out. They also hope students become more aware of the signs when someone they know is in trouble. Reporting for Cal TV, I'm Denisha Williams. Back to you in the studio. It was a weekend of performance art at Cal, as Poetry for the People held their 20th anniversary conference and Theater for Charity held three nights of spring shows. Poetry for the People, a two-day conference held in Dwinell in the Multicultural Center, featured dozens of speakers and performers, book signings and workshops, all in the memory of founder June Jordan. Theater for Charity's games-themed show, Shotzi, Let the Games Begin, featured a series of one acts, all written, directed, and performed by students. And now it's time for Pick of the Week. This week, we chose the toaster oven. They pride themselves on their fresh and healthy sandwiches made quickly and affordably for a college student on the go. They are located on the south border of campus on Telegraph Avenue, open every day until 10 p.m. I'm Mia. And I'm Thea. And we'll see you in two weeks for another episode of The Berkeley Beat. We hope you have a great spring break. <laughs>